much sugar in any. Hi guys. Okay. Oops, hit the roof over that one. How are you guys? Why? I've been gone for nearly four years now and I want to come back. Ooh. So I have jumped the gun and filmed my everyday makeup tutorial, which is the look that I <laughs> have um right now and I hope you like it. I start my everyday makeup tutorial with using an illuminating facial moisturiser which I just apply all over my face and also priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. To get a clean wing and a clean line on the eyeshadow I use Sellotape and we're just going to line this up by the corner of your eyebrow to the corner of your eye, so by your eye. Then I'm going in with Too Faced Chocolate Palette and I'm going to go in with this bone colour and I'm going to sweep that all over my eyelid and really packing it on so it makes all the colours later on easier to blend. Then I'm going in with my new Too Palette by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm taking this white shimmery colour called Sexy and I'm just going to put that on my lid just to add a little bit of sparkle. Going back to my Too Faced palette, I'm going to use a blending brush and I'm going to pick up this gingerbread-esque colour and I'm just going to put that just above my crease and blend it out. Taking an angle brush and going back to this Too Faced palette, I'm going to take this chocolate colour-esque, I don't know, I swatched it just so you could see, and I'm going to focus the colour in my crease. So we're slowly developing a cut crease through the use of different tones of shadows. Just so there's no harsh lines, I'm going to blend that out a little bit with an angle brush. Just so I have a nice gradient, I'm going back to that gingerbread colour and just going to blend through everything. Taking a dark brown onto an eyeliner brush, we're now going to create the line that emphasises the cut crease. We're going to focus this in the depth of our crease and we're going to slowly work it into our crease and then blend it out. We don't want any harsh lines, we want this to be an everyday look, so we're going to go, we're going to blend as we go. Going back to that gingerbread colour that we used to start to blend out our cut crease. Now we're moving on to the eyeliner and we're going to create a cat eye and I know this is you the trickiest part to make sure the lines equal and everything like that but thanks to our tape it's so hard to screw up this eyeliner and that's why it's every day, it's quick, it's easy and we don't have to spend hours making everything look equal. So I'm just using gel liner, I was using the Maybelline gel liner and I'm just going to create a thin cat eye because obviously I don't want it to be too dramatic because it is every day. Go ahead and apply your favourite mascara. I'm currently using the Kate Moss Mascara by Rimmel London and be generous with your mascara. It's just going to emphasise that liner that we've just put on. I'm going to go ahead and put on um, some fake eyelashes. I don't do this every day but I do love it, this look when I put on eyelashes because it makes it so bold and it's just so beautiful with fake eyelashes on. So you know if you want to create this into a, like a date night sort of look, go ahead and apply some fake eyelashes. 
Go ahead and apply your foundation as you would normally. I'm currently using two foundations because I'm in between shades, given that it's summer. Um, I'm not going to show you my whole foundation routine in depth, but if you would like a foundation routine, let me know down below and I'll be more than happy to film that for you guys. If you guys fill in your eyebrows like I do, then go ahead and do your eyebrows. Now I'm just going to line my lips, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Manic just because it's my favourite shade at the moment and take time doing this guys, don't rush it and once you're done with your lips, you're all done. <laughs> 